Good morning. It is May the 22nd, 2017. Time to kick off another trading day with our customary disclaimer. Hypothetical or simulated performance results have certain limitations unlike an actual performance record. Simulated results do not represent actual trading. Also, since the trades have not been executed, the results may have under or overcompensated for the impact of any of certain market factors such as lack of liquidity. Simulated trading programs in general are also subject to the fact that they're designed with the benefit of hindsight. No representation is being made that any account will or is likely to achieve profit or losses similar to those shown. So, anyway, I hope you had a great weekend. Uh, it was a momentous weekend if you think about the language that um, Trump uh, used in his speech in Saudi Arabia. It's worth listening to. It, it, it wasn't about process. It was about how do we solve this problem in the Middle East and how do we take uh, the Middle East from uh, backwards, no employment for their kids, uh, sitting on top of a cauldron of potential uh, uh, explosive terrorism and uh, overthrow of monarchies uh, and you get rid of terrorism. So. Uh, Trump threw the uh, put the ball clearly in the court, and a lot of groundwork had been done. And if they do what they say they're going to do, you have Saudi Arabia, which is the uh, funding. You have uh, Egypt, the Muslim Brotherhood, which is the ideology that with the Wahhabi Church out of Saudi Arabia. If you corral, if you get all those elements going together, you actually could uh, affect change in the Middle East and could. Um, start to put the terrorism genie back in the bottle. Uh, also, it's pretty clear that uh, <clears throat> the Sunni nations have aligned against Iran. So, if you look at Shia, which is, uh, I think, 10 12 percent of the Muslim population, it runs from Iran through Iraq, parts of Syria, and southern Lebanon. And so, those uh, Iran and um, the Shia sect have been isolated by this, which uh, should surprise no one. And if you're going to do it on a numbers basis, you would align with the um, Shia, not you'd align against the Shia, just on a purely numbers basis because the Sunnis outnumber them. Also, if you look at it culturally, it's the Arabs against the Persians. And if you want to make a Persian um, mad, you accuse them of being an Arab. And if you want to make an Arab mad, you accuse them of being a Persian. So. I mean, the, uh, the, the battle lines are the historic battle lines that have been there since about 1100 A.D. So anyway, the, the Trump speech, if you didn't uh, read the text or didn't listen to it, uh, could be a game changer. It's worth your while. Not saying that it will change anything, but it would be nice uh, if that actually happened. Uh, so crude is up. Uh, OPEC meets on Thursday. And they're expected to roll over through three of 2018, the current production cuts. Um, and uh, that looks like that's probably a done deal. They'll have Russia's agreement, too. It'll be done at least on paper. And uh, when OPEC cannot get a new agreement, they always go with the old one. And right now they're talking about the old agreement. So that one probably will pass. Okay, uh, we were lower on Friday. The market is trying to sell. We had a B volume-wise. We've got a B here, and we've got a B here. So everything points lower. Uh, so 3 to 7 is very, very aggressive. Uh, obviously, we'd like to get it done closer to 8 and 3 uh, for cell 1, and then 11 to 15 for cell 2. On the buy side, had this breakout down here. I think we're going to head lower. I don't think we're going to break the market today because of the lack of news. So buy one will be 25.28 to 126 even. Let them get stops below 126. And then 21 to 25. Back to Trump's um, trip. I, I've seen nothing uh, come out of Israel over um, what Trump said um, in Saudi Arabia other than, yeah, that's great, we're all for it, peace in the Middle East. I, I, I got nothing out of what um, uh, we're asking of Israel on this particular trip. And then he's on to see the Pope and then to G7 in Brussels. So um, 
we'll see what falls out today on his uh, stopover in Israel, if anything falls out. Charlie, you're screen, so. You know, if you but think about a couple of changes that are being made right now uh, in the Middle East, uh, as opposed to push ISIS and Al Qaeda out of an area and regain control of your city, now it's surround that city, annihilate Al Qaeda or ISIS, and then move on to the next city to be. So that that's a huge change in military tactics. Um, the tempo has been increased greatly on the attacks. Uh, so if what Trump outlined um, in uh, Riyadh goes through, it, it, it could be uh, it have even bigger uh, impact than uh, what we're doing against ISIS and Al-Qaeda right now. Uh, it's it, military, uh, Militarily, it's always been an easy problem. You cut off the supplies, you surround them, and you kill them. Um, and it's the way that you get rid of guerrilla insurgencies. You draw the circle on the map and then you walk the circle in. And I was involved in three of those operations when I was in the military, supplying them, not, not actively. But it's very, very effective. It just takes time. Okay, looking at the bond, 154 even, 154.04 is number one, cell 7 to 11, cell 1, 15 to 19, cell 2. The game's going to hinge on what uh, happens in the um, E-mini. Uh, 20 to 24 is number one, so 13 to 17 is by one. And then 1 to 5 is by two. No one can see your screens, you know, Charlie. You're displaying the wrong monitor. Can you hear me? Okay, gold was higher when I looked at it, about a couple of bucks an hour or so ago. And it looks like it's going to trade higher. So, I mean, just structurally right now, this uh, 1263, 1265 is uh, the sell zone. So first resistance is going to be right here, leaning against that. That'll be 59 to 61. Then 64, 66, let them get stops above um, Thursday's high, sell two. On the buy side, 50, 52. And then 45, 47. And we may have to move the buy up to the uh, 55 area, 53, 55. But we're going to try to do it on the cheap to get started. Okay, Merkel came out and said, the euro is too cheap. Betcha Draghi pulled his hair out when she said that. She was speaking, I think, to a, a school uh, someplace in Germany. And um, naturally, the euro rallies off of that. So uh, again, these politicians and central bankers can move the market. So big picture stuff on the euro. We've got this high volume area at 1250. We've got the high that was set at 113.10. Got a high at 1260. We've got a high right here at 1275. So 1260 to 1310 is prime sell territory. And we're headed up right now. So, um, Looking at our F2 screen. A little bit higher. Catch people on the wrong side. Sell 175. 113 even, sell 2. And we're going to put a question mark at 60. That is potential resistance. So 60 to 75 is where the first resistance is. And 113 even, 113.10 is the second. 
uh, 25 to 35 by 1, 112 even, 112 10 by 2. Sorry, folks. Okay, looking at crude oil. Okay, crude oil is higher. Um, and again, big picture stuff. We thought 52 might be the tops in crude oil. This area right in here. This break. Um, obviously, we got the the start of the sell-offs came in from 53, but OPEC meets on Thursday, and um, that deal is expected to roll over. Um, it won't solve the uh, supply glut. If this doesn't work, then I've got to shut down. Okay, so right here, this break at 52, there's a pretty clean break in the um, in the um, volume. So we're looking at 52 to as high as 53 is where the selling has been before. And if you wanted a leaning against 53, is would be what a local would do. And um, structurally, and then we have leaning against 52 would be the other place to put it. So crude oil is higher. And um, normally, when we roll from June to July or July to August, if we're going to see selling, it's usually two days after the roll uh, has taken place. So we'll see if that happens. So. First sell stops above 51.50, 51.75, sell one, 52, 52 and a quarter for sell two. On the buy side, we've got this gap down here, so uh, 50, 75, 51 by one, and 50 and a quarter, 50, 50 by two. Now, the only place in the world that has cheaper energy costs than the United States is um, the Middle East. Uh, the problem has been when you build a factory there, um, uh, the only way you do it is that the local government invests in the factory. and. Um, because you can lose it all in an uprising or overthrow. And the uh, government of um, Saudi Arabia, there's 5,000 princes now, and a lot of the money for terrorism comes from those 5,000, some on the, of those 5,000 princes. And it was after 9-11, four Saudi princes met with a pretty quick death um, so th they would never be questioned or but would be looked at and so that, that's how things are handled in the Middle East but like I said it could be a big game changer okay um, if I'm just looking at the market structurally right here on the E-mini 88 to this area right up here 94 this 88 to 94 area and the highs we got on the uh, other day in the financials was 87. So 87.50, 88, 90, 92. And then we have that high up there at 95, 96. So 88 to 95 looks like pretty stout re resistance. I think we're going to try to trade higher. Uh, we've got this structure right here. If you put it all together, everything is pointed up. Uh, as it stands right now. Volume is low on this distribution, but that's because of the night session. You can see that volume is building higher. 
So right now everything is pointed higher. So I'm, I'm looking for a test of 88 to 90. So we'll put the first cell 89 to 91, then 94, 96. I don't think we can break out. I can't. I, things aren't right to go to new highs. Um, and we're going to put a question mark at 87. On the uh, buy side, 79 to 81. And 75 to 77. So uh, the only news we had today is Chicago Fed's National Activity Index. No one will pay any attention to it except for the Fed. And it does not impact the markets. Okay, we're going to look for Monday trading, quiet. I uh, want to execute against the edges uh, if we can, uh, possibly take our time. Trades should take longer to develop than normally, and uh, we'll see if that actually turns out to be the case. Back with you as soon as possible.